Shown here is an R2R ladder circuit and is a binary current divider that finds application in digital to analog digital conversion. The operation of the circuits can be explained using voltage division together with series and parallel equivalent resistance. The resistor ladder configuration shown here is one of the most simplest and inexpensive way to perform digital to analog conversion using repetitive arrangements of precision resistor networks in a ladder light configuration. Now let's analyze and look at this circuit, this R2R ladder configuration. Let's start off at this other end. First we note that we have 2R at node 3 is connected in parallel with 2R shown here. We know that when two resistors are in parallel and they're equal, it's just basically half of the resistance. So when we observed right here, we note that it's 2R, which is in parallel with this 2R shown here, which implies that R equivalent is just 2R times 2R all over 2R plus 2R because they're connected in parallel and that just yields an R. So the R equivalent looking through here when we see 2R in connected in parallel with this 2R is simply R. But we note that this resistor R is in series with this R where the current is going through I2. So R plus R, what we see again here, is 2R. However, this 2R now is connected in parallel with this 2R at node 2. So again, we have R equivalent is equal to R. Then let's look at node 1, and we have a similar situation. Since all of this is simply R, it's connected to this resistor R where it passes through I, where the current I, I1 is passing through this resistor. So this is again looking through this node, node 2, has a 2R in there which implies that R equivalent is also equal to R. Next we're going to look at the currents I1, I2, and I3. Well we see that I reference is going through this node right here at node 1 but since these resistors are equal 2R and 2R equivalent for this whole ladder network then half of the current goes through 2R in here and this 2R so I1 here I1 here are the same currents because of what we just analyze in terms of equivalent resistance so I1 this implies that I1 is half of our reference. Okay, now look at this one. I2 is just when I1 enters node 2, half of the current goes through this 2R and half the current goes through this rest of the network here. So I2 is just one half of I1, so it's just one half of one half of I reference or one-fourth of I reference. Then finally, I2 enters node 3, but I3 is just half of I2, since these two resistors are equal. Hence, I3 is just one-half of I2, which is just one-half of one-fourth of I reference, which is equal to one-eighth I reference. So we can see as we pass through this ladder network half of the current is split when we go through node 1, node 2, and node 3. So in summary the R2R ladder circuit shown here produces currents or signals that decrease in a binary fashion as we proceed down the ladder. Clearly we can extend this R2R network to a larger number of nodes. In fact, commercially available integrated circuit ladders have as many as eight numbered nodes producing binary currents ranging from IREF 
divided by 2, 2i reference divided by 256. Now the advantage of the circuit is that it produces this wide range of precisely related signals using only two values of resistance, namely R and 2R. This greatly simplifies the fabrication of the R2R ladder in integrated circuit form.